Welcome back to the ESL ESEA Pro League. Of course, after that little bit of a highlight match, we needed a moment, but the teams were raring to go, so we'll be getting this one started up real quick for you guys. It will be SK up against Titan, and Titan do manage to pick up the knife here. It's going to be going down on cash, but i uh, got to say, looking forward to these two. Hopefully, it's, I don't know how much it's going to ever keep up to the caliber of what we just witnessed, but it's always a good fun game to get to watch Scream go on a wild tear on, uh, on SK here, it seems. Well, that's right. I mean, SK Gaming are uh, bringing in the stand-in, of course. We said earlier yeah. on we didn't really know what they'd be bringing into this game. Uh, Magisk, I think it is. Yeah. Who we have seen play before. He's played for TSM on some occasions. Uh, he has played for SK before as well. So a bit of a Danish Merc, you could say. Yeah, he's, he's played for TSM in the past. He's played for SK. Uh, I think Epiphany Ball as well, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, he, he's been around the Danish team quite a bit. I, I'd like some more detail on him. If you guys at home know, of course, let us know. Um, but still, let's get our heads into the game because we are live into this one. It will be SK on the T side and Shocks already kicking things off with a bang. That's right, it's a heavy push uh, for SK here at the moment now. As you can see, Santa going to be running straight back. towards existence. Oh, he gets two as well. Santa giving us some magic here, but not enough as RPK is going to pick him up. Yeah, really nice stuff from Titan, just barreling around the back there, but it's down to Scream and Shocks to find anything else. They do have the death kit still on Scream. Nate's going to do some work towards Asylian. He's going to swing out from that box, but spots out both players. Shocks will find him. It's down to a 2v2, but the damage going to start coming in towards Titan. They've made it through towards the site, but where are these two remaining players? Free still buying time on the side itself. He's going to catch off Freeze. Shocks bait it out, and they know where he is. He can go for the full defuse, but no Shocks goes in for it, picks up four, but he can't get the defuse. The kit was on, I believe, Scream, so they'll be backing away from this one. First round goes to SK. Well, SK have lost uh, their last six matches, actually, I think, um, and four of them have been against sort of tier two teams as well, so yeah, they haven't had a lot of games against all these sort of top tier teams, so uh, statistically, not, uh, not really wouldn't be putting too much money on them. Here is Santa with that nice little double. Cheeky little guy. So, yeah, I mean, uh, and in case they've lost uh, seven out of eight of their last matches on here as well. It's a good start for them. But I want to see uh, as Titans start to, you know, flex their muscles a bit what happens here. They're forcing up here on this second round. Yeah, and I'm curious to see how Titan come into this. Uh, you know, Titan are sitting fairly mid-table, I'd guess, at the moment. And SK are firmly towards the bottom half. So I'm wondering if Titan are going to try out new things, have a little bit of fun with it. And I think Scream just fluffed up doing the boost there, but it'll be all right. They can do it from the, the less safe side if they fancy it. It looks like they're just going to go for the, the boost on site itself. But anyway, Sandon waiting for the counter boost to come out. Not going to be happening. Titan holding the sights themselves. And uh, three rifles for SK, the UMP for Cillian, and just the SMG for Kadian as well. So, as you said, yeah, a little bit of a shoddy ride for SK at the moment. They've been having these roster problems, and they're taking this round very, very cautiously. Cillian here just lining up the Molotov in towards Vince. And one catches on there as well as for the most part Titan have been happy just to give them ground here but here's Shocks in mid he got flushed out I think by that Molotov and that was uh, he will go down to that one as well look at Smith's here looking for something pushing up a little bit aggressively Sandin is directly above him at this stage and only five points of health there they're going to know it's a B though look at this Titan already stacking out three players there Scream's just going to make the peak make some noise allow the likes of existence to get some damage done with the Deagle and he's going to have a chance here not going to be landing too much Sandin's low but the kills are coming in for SK as RPK waiting patiently on the site, reserving bullets and putting them down well here. He gets two, not going to find any more, but Sandon and Freeze were low there. But they do maintain the three rifles, and they do get the second round. Yeah, so that uh, force for Titan there really uh, to no avail by the looks of things here. Is SK battered and bruised as they were, actually managed to close that one out in the end. It's not a terrible start at all from the Danes here, as Titan have only played Cache once since June. I love you saying Cache. Cash. It's like quiche. Cash, mate. I get hungry. <laughs> Cash? Yeah. Cash. Cash. I've only played Cash once since June, and that was uh, the do last they, time they've they played. Do they play at Diggity at all? Or is Diggity, that yeah. Diggity. A... Diggity with a Dak Dak. I can't mate. wait for the Dak Dak to come out. <laughs> anyway, we, <laughs> we can come back into those stats in a moment's time because it looks as though we are going to be seeing another cautious round from SK. But they're going straight in towards a stacked out Titan. Yeah, Shocks was a bit aggressive there towards A main, and Caddy has got to put him down quite quickly as the nade also bounces in towards Scream. And this is SK setting things up fairly nicely as they want to make this push on towards A. But his distance there, he's able to slow them up just a little bit there as well. A Cillian forced to sort of push out from long, and this is Smith still waiting in this boost spot. It didn't even take the shot towards A Cillian here, as existence is enough to take him out. And looking at Smith's right now, just waiting out very patiently. 
the, the, the I, priest doesn't know where I'm that just came from. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Sound and panic. There's like a little text. Like, not sure what the point Bruce was there. is like panicking around a little bit, but they do get the bomb as well. So SK actually building up a good bit of money here. Three rounds in the bag for them. I just worry once it gets to these gun rounds, you're going to see that kind of slightly, huh, slightly, uh, you know, the superior play from Titan coming into effect. But we're going to find out if SK can maybe find a little bit of form with the new man, uh, Magis, coming in. Freeze yet to find a uh, find a frag in this, but everyone else playing well. So let's see if they can keep this up. Now this is the important one. Freeze has got the orb, so I'm looking forward to him using that Boogity time, pushing up in mid, getting some control down, scream and shocks, looking to get some presence. Yeah, no attempt towards boost here. While the looks of things at this stage, and SK mostly wants to go towards A main. Here you can see the smoke up in front of him. Shocks is going to get boosted over as well. He might be able to catch a ceiling if he gets up there quick enough. And even Sandin is just step back for a moment as well, just to look towards that one. Titan playing it slow over that boost here. Caddy and a heck of a lot of smoke in A main. It's it's not going to allow him to push through at this stage yet. But there's Caddy and does find Smiths here as well. We'll stick with shocks though now. He does seem to want to come up towards Caddy and Sandin, sorry. And Bomb is down as well. Look He's doing work. Look at this aggression. Look at this. Shocks knows what's up. And he's going to get the follow-up. Oh and actually, Asilian had the drop from him. Kadian's going to pick up the pieces and pull it back to the 3v3. But still, Freeze is going to have to work for this one. And look at the swing out scream. Just so clinical. Yet again. Freeze just getting executed. And it's just down to Kadian. He's got the orb. He might not even want to go for this. But he's got so much time to stay alive. I think he's going to have to take some form of challenge here. And actually, Tyler backing out of this. They're not playing as close as they were. RPK falling back towards truck. Scream towards highway. And exist, excuse me, existence, <laughs> sitting on the B side. Ooh, RPK going to go down to Caddy in there, but there's still two for Titan. He's going to have to get the ace to work this one out. Three already for the man now. So, uh, okay, the bong over towards B at least, slowly, as it were. The Scream is looking towards mid. I feel like Scream, ever since across that match against Envy, he's just deliberately now working to preserve his headshot ratio as well. He's always trying to keep it nice and high and see if he can reach that 95.4 or whatever ridiculous bollocks number it was. But there's existence on the bomb side, and Kadian, unfortunately, is going to fall to him and give up the AWP in the process. So, Titan picking up round one of the gun round there. The first gun round coming in, really, the important one. And that was quite an investment from SK. You can look at their money and see, you know, even Magic is a little low on it. But, yeah, they can drop each other out. They're not in the worst predicament. It's just not ideal. Uh, yeah, so Galil's coming out. Uh, going to have to go for, actually, just a Tech-9 on a Cillian. So, looking to forge something through this. Maybe just a quick play. But Freeze is going to have to be the man with the Magic. He's got the orb. He's got the good spawn for it. But we know Titan likes to do this push-up in mid. And he's not even going to challenge it. Straight away, Freeze is denied. That early poke there as well. We well, didn't get there early. I guess that was half the problem oh, now. doing the counter boost this time. Yet again, Shox is going to go over this one. He worked last time out, but Caddy is boosted up inside that garage as well. So Shox is going to hear that. You can see Sandrin is just sitting back ready to watch that as well with the Galil. So Shox, if he's reliable, should be able to take his head off here if he just makes that peek. But being very careful about it now. Look at the counter boost here. Freeze is going to get put up there, but it will send it back from the, the truck that managed to get the kill. And SK put a lot of resources into sort of denying that push up. Yeah, they know what they like doing. They know that Titans can be fairly aggressive in this one. And it's something that's is theory crafted quite a lot by analysis. The fact that if you're against a team on paper who's a little weaker than you or who you're confident against, you know, that team will have to make you respect them. Otherwise, you're going to keep doing this aggressive stuff, keep pushing up. And it's very hard to predict that. So if SK keep doing this, sitting back, being patient, playing slow, playing methodical, Titan might have to fall back into a normal rhythm here. And you're seeing Titan have to do so. They're playing very patiently, but SK really running down the clock. SK definitely wanting to keep Titan honest here, but as you said, they're running out of time to do so. And Asilian has the bomb towards B here, and it's just RPK actually up on Heaven, if I'm not mistaken. But their scream on towards Kadian, just getting it done as per usual. He'll back away from A main though as well, and it seems like they will cast their eyes towards mid and B. And this is RPK hearing a lot of sounds here as he's inside the checkers room. Oh, Magis just with his back to him. Why not check that corner? I don't know, as RPK can now move up, shots oh. towards the site, and this looks absolutely clinical. A, B, C, Santa will be adding on towards RPK, though. It's a 2v2, AWP in the hands of Smith, so the bomb is down. Let's find out if it's as easy as one, two, three. It looks like it. Smiths finds Sander. Now Freeze has to go big here. The bomb, I guess he could see if he commits slightly around the corner. He doesn't get the shot towards Scream he needs, and Scream doesn't need many opportunities at these sort of shots. And he's going for those one taps. And on the bomb, no, Freeze, Ow. you needed that shot. Oh. You, oh my god, that is devastating. He could have hit it, but he just fluffed his lines a little. And that means that Tyne get two to SK's original three. That's a shame. That really yeah. was. And Freeze just missing that shot towards the bomber. What about plenty of time there for the man? And that is going to be very frustrating for SK Gaming now. Titan, well, I count their lucky stars a bit there. Some, definitely some gung-ho, some cavalier play uh, coming out from them there. Yielding some results. 
Smith has the open hands here again. Asilian going to be boosting up some of his teammates. Magic's going up there very early with a P250 straight on into mid. Such a aggressive player. It's a lot of smoke as well. It's keeping Scream back out. He'll be looking for the head right now as well, but he's got players all around him. He does spot out Magic. He gets one. He gets two. That's Shock. Sorry, that got one there as well. And Freeze will push through the smoke to meet his maker oh so quickly. And SK breaking it. Out of all of his kills so far, he still does retain a 100% headshot ratio. So on the kills he has achieved, every single one has been a headshot. This guy is, is just a monster, and he plays towards this as well. You've been seeing it. Why not? If you're that good at it, just, just keep it up. I, I love watching this guy play. Um, so yeah, out of the four kills, all four of them have been headshots. Nothing, nothing too big so far, but keep your eyes on that stat going forward. It's always a fun one to watch. But still, 3-3 now. SK, once those big guns came out to play, have kind of shied away from picking up rounds here. They've got close a couple of times. Fries had the moment then to pick up something, but just couldn't really turn it into an actual round. So let's see if maybe a little bit of a speed up here is going to work out. Actually, that is a good start there. Matt just going to find shocks. And now a 5v4 in favor to SK. So SK sitting back on this one for the most part here. Smiths has been boosted on A. And RPK after an aggressive push out and towards B main. Will persist on this actually after a smoke. Will uh, hide his movements in towards that sunroom. The caddy though, he's quick on that one. The shots, but the RPK gets a spray down through smoke. It is a trade. This Kadian is able to take him out on Titan, only working with three players. But honestly, they've won these last couple rounds from a player deficit, so you can't count them out. And SK just have to be just have to be patient here as well. They don't want to throw themselves into this one here. Oh, look at that angle. Wow. I've not actually seen that before. I didn't know is you could get on top of the light that way. on the light. It's just on the light, yeah. So you get to see them pushing through, but you don't show your... your f wow. Bring I thought I play... I, I have like... I think I've got like 5k hours in this game now. Maybe almost six. And it's just like... Still don't, still don't find spots like that sometimes. That's awesome. It's always good to find something out new. But still, you can see Titan don't want to commit anywhere just yet because they don't know where the SK side are heading. They did originally commit those two players towards B, but Scream actually backed away now. He's got the perfect lineup. You can see that crosshair placement is perfect. Not going to get the first tap there. And now Existence going to be on the line. Just going to spray down. He gets down one. Not going to follow up, though. Sander will find it. And that's going to keep hope alive for SK. Smith is able to get through into Vents just as that Molotov fire does play through. Ah, oh, well, at least Freeze can't do it. But you know Smith is going to be able to. He will still drop to Sandin. But Scream is above him. The bomb is ticking, though, as well. He's going to require that Scream come forward and actually go for this one here as well. Can he do it? No! And unfortunately, Sanded, well, for Scream at least, will be able to pick him up. And that's SK getting it back there as well. Scream, unfortunately, not able to get that headshot that he'd be looking for. But SK doing well there. Holding on. They had the player advantage and then lost it. And then they maintained the round here. So it's four on the T side for them. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, really nice stuff from Sanded in the end to close that one out. I like that. Not often we see sort of that form of play from him, but still. Let's keep our eyes into this round. Freeze back onto the open Titan. Actually, not with the perfect of buys, to say the very least. Uh, the 5-7 with Scream there. Uh, a couple of Famuses as well strewn throughout. Smith's not even having armor. So he's probably going to be boosting himself up, looking to maybe just pick something up. If Ricard actually fluffing that as well. So not going to get the chance. Maybe go back for a second crack at it. No, go back out of there. Not going to go for twos. And RPK picking his mouse back up off the floor. <laughs> as they just wait it out. Oh, it's a little spot from existence. Depending on picking up the first kill here and then maybe backing off. RPK just going to turn away from that flash. It's probably concerned about existence as one. Flashing him as well. Good night as well. Kadian. Don't get a bit of health shaved off him now as Titan are just... Oh, they're sending a statement as well just saying we're happy to hold this one. So come and get it. And Freeze, he's going to do just that. Oh, the leg tag is not enough to get the kill. And he goes super low for that one as well. He can no longer push forward. Magisk got himself in towards Checkers there. But there goes the smoke as well. That's going to keep him out for the moment. And time continues to bleed down. Shocks now trying to apply some pressure from another point. But Asilian can reply on towards him. Probably didn't expect the three stack there for SK. But yeah, there they were. Uh, maybe working towards Minus Magic is actually almost stranded here at Checkers. Hoping maybe for some assistance out from Vents as SK move into mid. There's still two players on A, bearing in mind. And I think one of them is boosted up here. I'm kind of curious where they're going to take this. Yeah, Smith's finally to make another boost and Scream's on site. So, still not easy. The bomb heading through main. Two up highway for the T side here. Scream waiting out. Smith turns it. He gets the Cillian down and somehow those shots from highway just not finding their, 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 their true maker. Look at this. Again, what? how is Smith able to get away with this? Look at the time. They can't get the bomb anymore. SK. Oh my god. You just let it slip unbelievably so and Smith just made the most of that. How did Smith survive that? I don't understand. I know there was some smoke up but still SK could see above the smoke to where he was and those shots didn't connect. Smith was able to gun down the man pushing out of A main and then still survive. SK. My God, keep it together, boys, now. Four and four to head in towards this next round. And Titan having to play this one out nice and slow here. Smith does have an orb. It's actually famous for three players here at the moment here. Scream does have that M4. 
And SK on a force, big time. SK need to get this one going. They, they keep getting close, but they seem so hesitant to pull things together. The mid-round calls just not in place if you're running out of time like that. The players from Highway just didn't quite have the potency they wanted. Normally players like Smith would not Smith would not get away with holding that sort of angle, but still now he has the AWP. Gonna catch a glimpse of I, I think he saw at least the hand there or maybe the arm of the player, but they're pointing through towards that forklift side. Sandon will take down shocks. Now Smith's is gonna be where the buck stops if he gets away. Just about whipping through there. As you can see the rest of the time boys pouring in towards the site. Scream now is in the thick of it. There's smoke in front of him. There's players on the other side. RPK takes down a Celine, but there goes Scream. Kadian, great headshot there with a the CZ to do some work. But RPK is responding. Existence as well. He's looking towards a -Main. He finds Freeze. RPK drops and now Existence in a 1v2. He tries to go for Sandon. But Sandon with a strong round there. Three kills for that man. Put SK back out in front, albeit just by a nose. Yeah, not by much there. And actually, it's going to put Tyne in a bit of a predicament money-wise. This is a good performance thus far from SK, considering, you know, they are currently bottom of the entire league with yet a... You know, not even getting a single win in the bag. This is not a bad bit of play coming through for them. They are finding a little bit of something here. Sandon being the main man, kind of pulling them towards that. Uh, not only clutching out a couple of rounds, but you know, leading the way on the scoreboard. But let's see what they go for here. Tyne don't have a great deal to work with, so down on those pistols, going to stack out the A site. Four players there. Two through squeaky, maybe just one in the end. I think they just put Scream there, and I think Cillian might have heard that. Not too sure, but he's certainly aware that this might be happening. Scream just posturing here towards Long A. Always just jump across the doorways to see a Cillian trying to send a salvo in his direction. They might double peek this here and get a bit cheeky. Shox is there, close by. They'd love to challenge him down, at least get the gun away from here. But SK have players close by, 2 a Cillian. Uh, it's going to be a Molotov here to try and sort of flush Scream out. What's he going to do? He's going to sit in the corner, manages to get across. No, Cadian will send him packing there with the MP7. And that shocks also as the Flames in, in, in golf. Devour, one of those two. He was looking for either one, got both. His teammate's body, Shocks will now back away towards that A side. RPK is there as well here. It's a very interesting positioning from Titan. The existence at Smith still over at B. Yeah, Titan not reading much into these kind of fakes out towards B so far. Existence just peaks and actually Smith's rotating towards A. He's like, no, no, I'm not buying that. Not buying what you're selling. RPK and Shocks still by Squeaky. Smith's en route. Now let's see what they can do. Great little flash to slow them down. RPK is the perfect view as they cross over here. Will they expect it? There's one. He can't get the follow-up just yet. But Shox is still lurking in wait. Smiths is there. His CZ finds Cadian. And it's all becoming very possible for Titan. No, not so much more unless Shox can do something very big here. This should be around for SK. They have a player on highway. And you just do not get peaks like this. There we go. Freeze will close down. And SK taking a bit of a lead now. Titan, where have you gone? Not too shabby T side here so far for SK Gaming and Titan, a team on the cusp of that sort of top bracket of teams with potential to qualify. Yeah. Do not want to drop this game. You cannot afford at this stage of things in the season to let this one go by the wayside here. So only with four so far now and honestly, a little bit underwhelming from them considering what we've seen them sort of be able to do in the last couple of days. They've had some nice games. It was good ups against Na'Vi again last week. This is not a map that they play much of and this is just the way the league works. It kind of forces you to play all the maps. Uh, Titan now just need to get their act together here. Pistols in hand, and it's a heavy B push here. Kadian is going to open things up on Tyler's RPK. He's going to be making money with that SMG and Magisk. He's going to find the head of existence as well. That's the B presence neutralized there, and even Shocks trying to get around from middle will be taken out. Yeah, and SK just seems to be on the train of just stick together, guys. We'll just, we'll just go with, with each other. No one goes one by one anymore. Smith's trying to make the most of the Deagle. Going to be sent flipping backwards. And now it's just Scream alive, and he only has the USPS, so shouldn't be able to find much out of this one. Should be a clean round coming in for SK, unless he can maybe find Sandon, but he shouldn't be able to do so. Kadian leading the charge with that MP7. Trying to check these corners, and he will find down Scrim. So, SK on their T side. I, I, I'm basically waiting for Titan to wake up at this moment, but thus far, SK are leading very, very well. Now, Titan have been a little shoddy on their buys. Sure, they haven't been the best uh, position... Oh, you know, economy-wise, it's, it's not been good for them. But still, this is this is not what I expected. Titan are looking a little shaky here in SK. Bring out the big guns. We're going to see a, a bit of a turn-up of performance here from Sandon and Kadian. These two really doing well. Freeze has been having a bit of a mare, but still, if he finds a little bit of a little bit of a spark towards the end here, this could change everything. But let's see if SK can keep this sort of pace up. Well, Freeze with the AWP in hand now. We see uh, JW in that last game managed to go from bottom to the top very quickly, especially when he started making some of those serious plays here. So let's see what SK want to go for here. It's Magic is in check is here, trying to get some shots over towards that B side, and will be a nade to follow as well, just to soften up existence a bit. 
Smoke down as well. He's selling this fairly well for just one play. He will get pushed onto quite directly, but he could flick towards where RPK was standing, and he's holding his own nicely so far now. It's a flash on towards the site. Will he challenge yet again? Will he hold against Existence? Nope. Existence canning enough. We'll hold that position. It's a 4v4. And the bomb. most of SK still love to sit back on mid here. Sandin goes over the top. He's going to be looking for shocks here. I think shocks will be waiting for him. The Molotov not going to find shocks. And he takes down Sandin. Oh, Titan all over it now. SK just letting it slip here mid-round. Yeah, it was like they always wanted the picks there, and then they wanted them to go for the challenges in mid. But if you're not going to hit the shots, you're going to fall under the hand of Titan. And Smith in the end does find a Cillian who was just in that smoke in front. So, yeah, it looked as though SK were trying to draw them into making those peaks towards mid to try and get them to take the fight. But as noted, Scream, Shocks, and Smiths just doing the shutdown work when required. And even on B, it wasn't the most successful of times as RPK even did end up trading out when nothing was existence picked up the frag. So, looking at this round, SK can still purchase into this one. They do have the all back on freeze. They have pretty much, they're not the perfect buy, but a good enough buy that they can work with here. And the early boost is going to come out once again, trying to get something done. But Shocks sends them packing as Freeze finally catches the legs of Scream. It doesn't follow up perfectly. Freeze in position, though, at least with that AWP right now. As SK already whittled down to three plays. Nicely done as Existence drops there. Very brazen of him to punch through that vent at that particular moment. But here's Smiths as well, inside A main as well. Really wanting to harass towards Freeze. He's got a good angle on Freeze now. If he wants to poke, he might find his head. Rolling at his feet there. I'm not sure if he saw Smiths there. I don't think he did. But he'll back up at least and... Just be a little bit more conservative about this one. A Cillian, though, might step up to the plate. And there goes his head as well. That's two now for SK. Freeze all the way back here as well. He might get pushed to Smith's force to duck and dive out of the way. But he's buying a lot of crucial time here for the rest of Titan. He almost got ahead of peeking into that flash as well. But to be fair, Titan aren't in the best place here. No one's left on towards A. Shock's already making his presence known in mid. RPK consistently playing B. I'm surprised that SK have taken their time going towards A here. They look like a bit of a gift. Maybe don't want to just... Uh, rush it, but it has given time for RPK to get a little closer now. The bomb in the hands of Freeze, remember. Shox is not too far behind as well. This could be trouble. Shox is making the shots. RPK pushing forward. This 2v2 is looking better and better for Titan. Bomb goes down. RPK just snuck in towards the side, but it's down to a 1v1. That's it. Magic has to plant the bomb now as well. He knows, I think he knows at least, that there's someone in A main, so he's going to plant in the safest spot possible and try and back away from this one and get a good spot. But there is Shox lying in wait to pick up that play now, and it will be a defuse from Titan. I'll be honest, Titan taking some very audacious peaks, some very aggressive positioning, but it's worth Working out for them, not for the most part here, with six rounds now to their name. And I'm just a little shocked that SK didn't speed up that round. Once again, kind of the in-game cause. They know where these guys have been playing. Shock's already picked up two kills in mid. They have the perfect opportunity to maybe make that play towards A a little earlier before RPK was able to rotate round. Now, don't get me wrong, you can't assume everything, but a little surprise SK didn't take that opportunity a little, little sooner. But it does give that window of chance to Titan, who will make the most of it in the smoke. Going to come in towards Fox this time. Shox is out in mid. And again, SK have been taking their time on these rounds. They're not rushing it. They like to take the control here. And it looks as though they are testing the waters over by B. Three players heading that way with Freeze and Cadian by mid. It's very much a passive game here. Titan just responding accordingly, back and forward going. But it's only RPK waiting this time. So SK actually going to take the chance. RPK. Back on this one now, SK, yep, they're going to flood in towards this B side here, and RPK's been taking his time, but this might work out from now, as he does take down Magis, can he get a second? Hadium will shut him down, but shocks to the rescue, straight through Ven, oh, with three, the man is on fire right now, he won't get a fourth, but he's definitely done more than enough to get Titan that round, and they make it even at seven apiece. Yeah, I asked a question of Titan earlier about their performance, and they've seemingly given me their response, seven, seven now, SK getting a little quiet into these rounds, the individuals uh, finding their voice here, shocks, what a bit of perfect timing comes through. And that bomb plant has become a little bit of a rinse and repeat moment here for SK. Several times being called out going for that one and Freeze even failing slightly to deny the defuse on it uh, previous to now. But now looking at SK, they are down to just the pistols. Uh, they've got a bit of utility though, so they can make something out of this. RPK ever so patiently soloing this side as well. Occasionally he will have support, but this time he will be by his lonesome. And there are five players ready and waiting to challenge him down. See if he can hold it now. He's going to take his time in the corner. Let them push in, and he's going to be able to get on towards Freeze. No, Freeze actually responds accordingly. Shocks going off like a frog in a sock last round. Let's see what he can do now as he pushes up and towards Heaven. Existence is there as the Molotov does dissipate. And that's Caddy in the corner as well. It's going to be a second Molly to force Existence back off that one. He's going to have to be Shocks working in from Lobby. The smoke goes to stifle that one, and Magic is ready for the push from the rotate as well. That will be Smith's actually coming for a flank. But this has been good work for SK to keep Titan away from this one now. Caddy takes down Scream. 
And Magisk is just sitting tight here as well. Just waiting for a little flank. It will be Smith to give it. Only a deagle here for Magisk. And he's just going to fluff that one badly. Tighten now on the 2v2. Shocks with the double. He's doing it yet again, Lauren. I don't know if I can take it anymore now. The 1v2. Bomb down. AK in hand. The molly at his feet. Not enough I, time left at all. No, he, he doesn't have the time, I don't think, here. Freeze just stays alive. He won't have the time to do this. He jumps in the last seconds, but Freeze knows he oh, won't fluff it twice, oh, but oh my god. Oh, please. Shucks, you don't get the round, but that, that, that shot was sexy as hell. But still, uh, you know, SK keeping a lead here is absolutely brilliant for them. They are last currently standing in the league. It, I know it sounds condescending, but this is a good game for them. It's a little close, but they've been picking up rounds here and there, but Titan... I don't know what to make of this. I like that play towards B from SK. They kind of retained their utility for the retake, and it bought them so much time. But still, second half going to be a bit of a tough one, I can imagine. Titan now can kind of depend on the individuals to just really crack open the sides rather than waiting on uh, SK to do the damage. But SK, they are in the lead. Let's see if they can keep it. Yeah, that's right. SK yeah, got themselves that one round there as well. But honestly, if Shox is going to keep to his diabolical tricks, this might be a little bit harder for SK to hold on. However, like you said, Seven rounds on that CT side. Not too shabby at all for uh, for Titan now. Moving on towards the T. And let's see what they do. Let's see if they can sort of shake the foundations for SK Gaming or if SK can just hold on tight. I mean, coming in here with a bit of a mix, of course, Magic being thrown in as a stand-in and a team that has been plagued by these roster problems. It'd be refreshing to see them actually managing to get a win against a team that has at least mid-table, at the very least, and honestly contests at the top level. Yeah, this is, this is a really good performance from SK if they can keep it up. We'll find out as Titan... Kind of known for their choreographed play here on Cash can mostly be put down towards A, but it seems that, that stack towards Squeaky's coming back out with shocks in existence being the jump off points, but they're going straight through that bomb and they are on towards the side itself. Hopping straight over here as Magic's gonna go for the challenge towards Forklift, but it's Scream to win out towards Katie and now open up the side. Scream's gonna find two. And why not? It is Scream, leaving three alive for SK. Uh, Sandrin and Freeze make that two now as the bomb is planted and Titan. Well, they're snatching up all the weaves as they make their way through. RPK will be a truck. Freeze will be summarily executed by Shocks, and it's just Sandrin to await his fate. And Shocks goes through. That's the shot towards the head. Not too bad. But existence will respond. And Titan definitely make a statement there with their first in this half. Very strong pistol performance. Yeah, really nice. And to be fair, they. they it was just that SK got completely overwhelmed sitting in towards quad then. They couldn't really do much about it. So Titan's going to go in on the buy now. Let's see what they go for. Two rifles thus far. Imagine three SMGs to boot. Yeah, they're just going to get Smiths on the MAC-10. A lot of utility. And actually on the other side, a lot of CZs, but no armor to be seen. So the forces that we've seen throughout today are not going to be quite as uh, replicated thus far. But it's going to be a four-man stack over towards B. Existence holding mid. And actually... Katie going to be going straight for that challenge. Sandin actually going for the peak as well. This is very aggressive stuff from the CT side, considering they only have pistols. Oh dear, still Shox is just brutalizing SK. Starting with Sandin at this stage as Magisk is inside fence, but he gets taken down as well. Shox on towards him there with that MAC-10. And there goes Caddy in as well. It's a very, very quick roll for Titan straight over SK Gaming. And they are now in the lead Look off the Shox. back of Shox, of course. And a very strong pistol round, 24 and 10. He's at least double his nearest teammate in kills. Brilliant stuff from Shox. To be fair, normally it's Scream who gets the limelight, mm -hmm. but Scream's not, not having the most loud of games for him. You know, that's the thing you, you've got to say for him, because there's not many players who can go off like Scream, but Shox very much in the limelight at the forefront right now for Titan. 9-8 uh, is the scoreline. SK, very clean round coming in, just a couple of P250s, three to be exact. And they're doing the five-man stack towards B, just leading it through. RPK trying to maybe get his farm on here. Good position for it, going to get one down. Controls the rest of the spray. Not going to expend the clip before required, but Cadian has slipped past and looking to do a little bit of damage. Mm, but RPK knows Cadian has actually managed to get through here. So what is that bug? Well, that's uh, actually the skin of uh, one of that's, the. Is the, that the mouse? The, the, is that a Mag Seven skin? Just like put up. His, I don't know. Oh, we digress here. Caddy now is going to drop to RPK. So that is his third of the round, if I'm not mistaken. He went hunting for uh, for Cadian for quite some time, and there's shocks as well. Titan really starting to put things together quite nicely now. This T side definitely looking a lot more at home. But this is the buy here for SK Gaming. Now, last time we saw SK picking up the first three, then kind of following up with a good couple of gun runs, but not the initial one. So I'm curious to see if Titan can buck the trend here. It looks like we're going to see two SMGs still kept as well. Shocks and RPK keeping hold of these. 
Where are they going to take these towards? I'm, I'm curious now. Oh, they've done this a, a fair bit in recent times as oh, well. Yeah. They did this against Na'Vi, actually. He just farmed them for worked. money for a few rounds. So, Freeze now. Going to go for that early peak towards B main. Nothing to come of that one here. As we do have an aggressive push by Acelian up in mid. A heck of a lot of smokes here. And SK struggling to get a read early on Titan. Don't really know too much about the movements here. Sandred is that only player at A. Molly's coming in, but the smoke's going to be there. Freeze also is there. Takes down RPK. That's one SMG out of the picture. Still, he's going to have to back away towards B main now. Or lobby, should I say. And away the push, and he misses that crucial shot there. Would have had another frag. Easy, and Smith is going to punish him for his inaccuracy. Acelian at least can trade in towards Scream, and then get on towards Shocks in mid. It's just two for Titan right now. Let's see if they can put it together. Back-to-back -back existence, and of course, Smiths. Yes, Smiths is just waiting at the very edge of that vent, but they aren't going to boost someone up there to actually challenge on Acelian. And there we go, Acelian closes down. Big round from him. That's three in the bag, but Freeze with the opening pick made a big bit of difference. Sadly, he couldn't adjust well enough to follow up from it to get overwhelmed. But Titan, you know, it's not the end of the world. They do have 10k on two players. That was Shocks and RPK. So they've got a lot of money to work with in this. And it was more around for SK to make sure they picked up and didn't fall to those SMGs. But the investment didn't quite work out for Titan. But they will be in fine form going into this one. Smith's with the AWP. Let's see what he can do. Freeze definitely uh, looked like he was very keen to go for those picks last round. And here we go. SK in towards mid again. Uh, again, aggressively pushing up. Asylian will probably look towards to get in towards Vent. And Magic is close by. So Again, denying mid from Titan. Titan not even really aggressing on towards that one too much there, but their scream as well from that boost spot. Cadian falls in a crumpled heap and Magis. Well, we can't really take any shots from here now. Really can only just try and listen to those sound cues and get an idea of where scream is going. Here's Freeze on towards that A side. Freeze hasn't had much luck there. No. Luckily, the nade will follow up for him, but he's been getting tags and legs, and it's just not been a good day for him, sadly. But doesn't seem to matter right now. Freeze will be finally put to bed by shocks and. Titan opening up opportunities towards A here, but on the side you can see Sandlin just playing beyond the angle they're peeking, but Shocks again, just going beast mode, that's Magic's down, he looks for another and he gets it, that's three for Shocks, just walking into the bomb site and claiming it as his own and the rest of Titan fall in line. Shocks, uh, 29 frags in uh, 20 rounds, so not too Jesus. shabby at all from the men, and he's just been savaging SK Gaming, almost on his own at this stage, but... See what shots can do now, of course. A ceiling will be sitting in sunroom here as RPK is going hunting. He definitely likes to try and make sure there are low, no loose ends. And A ceiling will drop down now as well. Titan, another one on the board for them here. In this game, game, you're only getting sort of rounds fairly few and far between. Very spotty performance from them now as Titan are two in the clear. Yeah, Titan's starting to break ahead of the pack thanks to the man you just, you can't help but point out, which is shocks. He's, he's playing so well. It's, it's hard to even deny, um, but still, it, we're going back into the frame. Maybe we'll see a little something from SK if they can get some damage done. But I just feel that once Titan get rolling, it's going to be so hard for them to be stopped. Even the players starting to really pick up the pace. Shocks will do the little flash there, just to allow them any chance on the first pick. But Magisk will at least find existence, so that's a gun loose, but I doubt it's recoverable. Oh, there we go. I think it's uh, Kadian on the other side of that forklift there. No one on rafters or on upper for shocks now as he is going to smoke out towards that side. Try and set things up here. The Smiths at least working out from A main. Oh, Magis through the door, I think it was. Gets the headshot on towards shocks and he's had a blinder of a round so far. And here comes the fire. Comes straight on in towards that quad. Smith's trying to take on Kadian. He does get the better of him here. A silly now picking out towards RPK. Trying to see that CC at close range to its greatest effect. And RPK going to back away. Magnus with his third for the round. Let's see if he can add to that one here. He may not have to as the rest of SK are converging. Oh, watch out. That's your teammate, mate. Let's not get too ahead of yourself. He has opted now for the AWP. He holds that one. And it's just RPK left for the Frenchman. What is with Deagles at the moment? They are just so insanely strong in the right hands. Magic's showing that he is one of those players that can utilize them perfectly as RPK last man standing. Bomb is swarmed by SK players. I doubt he's going to be able to find much here. 30 seconds left. They are a little low, I guess, Freeze, But they've got so much to work with now. Three rifles recovered. Well, sorry, two and an AWP, I guess. And RPK just going to sit this one out. He's only got, well, 16 seconds to stay alive. And I can imagine SK want to keep hold of these weapons as well. And Titan will buy up again anyway. So, uh, they still have the money for that one here. Acelian going looking. RPK is going to make him regret that particular decision. And with four seconds left, he should be able to stay safe for the remainder of the round here. So, SK Gaming claw yet another one back. But they seem to be just half a step behind Titan in these ones here as well. It's still one round in it here. As we go in towards our 22nd round. And Titan, not too bad on the T side so far. Magic's with a nice couple of plays there to keep themselves in it. And as you said, Freeze is still having a bit of trouble here as well, Fragging. It's been quite quiet. And on the other side, when you've got Shocks doing a lot of heavy lifting for Titan, it's hard to see yourselves losing. 
So let's see if Caden can pick up a little bit of the slack then. He's going to be picking up the orb, so that's always a nice addition here. So this is going to go for that opening shot. Not going to find it. Just as that bullet wisps past the player, the player by Wox's box, as it will be Cadian on B. Shock's taking the fight on A. He finally gets stopped as Magis does find a little bit of what he had with the Deagle there. But looking at Smith, he's going to go in for the challenge as well. And Magis does retreat towards Quad, but holds the angle on the right side. Magis actually lucky to, uh, to get across before Smith could find that angle. So he uh, may not have expected Magis to be there. Unfortunately, nothing will come of that one now as he does just hop himself up there inside A main. And you're looking out towards uh, Rafters once that smoke does clear and Caddy on the B side. Bomb being left behind by Titan here. They want to take some fights. They want to start to open things up a little bit more before they commit. Oh, cheeky little half pick there by RPK and Caddy not quick enough to finish the kill. Yeah, but Titan are committing though. Not yet. Scream still got the bomb pretty far back. Smith's the one tap. You can hear that across the map. Magisk is now going to be the last standing point. He is going to connect towards Smith and actually the rest of the time players are pouring in towards his side. Now they're going to have to take him into account and he's going to get the leg there. Tags off screen. Deagle comes out. That's brilliant stuff from Magisk. We're waiting to see more of this sort of play. Allows Sandin the chance to find RPK as existence is the last man standing in this quite far back. I'm pretty damn impressed with Magis, I'm not going to lie. I mean, we see some of his stats uh, when we were researching before, and actually when he played with uh, TSM uh, yep. a while back, he was very, very good in that game. So it's clear to see that he's got some potential here. Lovely 4K from him, and it actually he's going to make it even Steven TSK Gaming and Titan at 11 rounds apiece. And even with Shock's doing so much work here, it's not enough to give Titan a buffer as we head in towards his next round here. And oh, it's a force here. Existence, we're going to have to go to the Galil. Smith's... With that uh, Tech 9 as well. So, SK Gaming looking in a little bit more of a commanding position now, at least for this round. Yeah. I, I, I just want to see more Magis, if, if I'm completely honest. This guy is, is really doing quite nice. Uh, I I just haven't seen an individual make that sort of impression in a while. He's Considering he's just a stand-in or a step-in maybe, or may become a permanent member of the roster, I'm truly not sure. You, you can prove me wrong. Please do. Uh, but really finding a good performance here. As Titan are looking towards A. So Molotov coming out from Caddy and doesn't want to get pushed from that angle, so he's not watching the other one. Magis, though, luckily can redeem with two kills there, and there's Freeze as well to pick the up bomb. Smiths. The bomb's in the perfect spot for them as well. There's going to be something really extraordinary to come through from these two players remaining. Shox has to get around the back if he wants a chance in this. He's going to find the challenge towards that connector in mid, but Magisk dancing around, keeping eyes on that bomb as Shox will take the challenge towards Asylum, but Sandin was backing him up and now screaming a 1v4. I wouldn't doubt him, but he's certainly outnumbered. Scream can at least get close to the bomb, but he realizes surely SK Gaming must be watching that position with some player or another, so he's going to go for another sort of fight. But there's Magisk again. Three, seven in two rounds for this man. And he's really starting to drag SK Gaming, kicking and screaming through a couple of these rounds here. Yeah, he's he, he individually is making the difference. As simple as that. And we th I, I thought, you know, maybe Shox was the big player. And sure, he's playing well, but this guy, as an individual, is making the difference in these rounds. Important kills, and you know, I was about to say a very clean eco going in for Titan. But no, they do invest some head armor there. A, you know, a CZ, a P250 split between them, but still, this should be 13-11. By rights, it should be, but when we talk about Titan, with the likes of shocks and Scream, Existence, and all the rest in that team, you just never know what you're going to get. Uh, Magisk has actually moved his way up towards this one now, taking Caddy in spot. A good nade actually towards A main. Shouldn't flick well, some damage actually. Negligible really towards RPK. A little bit of spray through smoke here as SK does anticipate this push, especially seeing long A door open. Magisk will just reload here. Caddy and freeze, opening up the account. Shocks, will he make his mark here as he pushes over? It's a Titan getting aggressive over towards this side. RPK gets one, and Magisk gets two more. Beautiful stuff from the man. Average three kills in the last three rounds per round, so it's not too shabby at all. And SK Gaming, as you said, 13-11, it is. Let's remind ourselves, this is SK taking on Titan. This shouldn't happen. Titan are currently in sixth, if you exclude all the other changes that happened today. If we don't include them, at the start of the day, they were in sixth. SK are in 12th. They are yet to pick up a singular game, only 98 rounds won, and the team closest to them is already on 117. That'll be Hellraisers for SK. But this is a big performance from them coming out, truly showing that, hey, we can compete. It's just Magisk, one by one, taking down Titan. He's going to be asked the big question again. 
can he find any more? We find putting him in pretty important positions here, but he turns his back at just the wrong time. And that can happen to the best of them, unfortunately, though. But Scream is going to compound this issue for SK Gaming. And he picks up a silly in here. Freezes. Well, he's pushed up in towards a main, hoping for a Titan player. Just with their own back turned, he won't find it. And Sanded is being completely locked out at the moment here from mid. There's a lot of smoke there. And he just has to be patient and wait this one out. He's almost anticipating a push in towards him. But Titan are happy with just the smoke there, just to take some control of mid. As Freeze looking for an opportunity. There goes Smith. The man hits the deck. Existence is quite low as well. And Caddy and well, the smoke's cleared on towards B here. And Titans still haven't made their push. No, Titan look a little scared now. They're, they're looking a little cautious, a little hesitant. And Cadian's going to find Scream. That's a bomb loose. They know it now. The alarm bells are going to ring for SK. Is they going to get themselves over to side? Great little flash to show them down. Counter flash comes out, and they do make it across. And that's forced Caddian back around the corner. He has to poke in towards that one. Goes down to eight health, and RPK is going to send him packing. And now it's just Sandin and Freeze. A lot of work to do. Sandin cleans up shocks nicely. That puts the bomb loose as well. He's only down to 35 points of health, but RPK takes down his teammates. He's got to do this all on his own, and he will be denied that opportunity. And RPK with his third for the round. Yeah, you can see they're just not letting this slip. They are trying to fight this one out as much as possible. Titan suddenly starting to wake up here, but in the throes of the final rounds, really, SK on 13, Titan on 12. We are getting good games today, whether you like it or not. This was not the game I expected to be a highlight, and it certainly won't compare to the one prior, but it's certainly got its own merit, as uh, SK are not going down out without a fight in this. And double, three players flashed up in mid. You see the quick boost. Magic's going to back away from it. Titan working with minimal amounts here. Shock's actually just for that P250. It's denied by Asilian, who's getting the early control in those vents. I was hoping to use the uh, close quarters to his advantage there, but you can see Titan just propelled themselves in towards mid, and it's paying off so far. Existence and Smith add notches to their belts, respectively. And now mid is open for Titan. It is theirs. Sandin's forced to go to Big Caddy, and will have to sort of float in between in the middle. And Magisk over at A. So wherever Titan want to apply their pressure, they will have an overmatch. They will have a player advantage here as well. The question is, do they want to soften up SK Gaming further? Are they still looking for picks? As Titan is even hoping, hoping that SK will even go for some cheeky little flank on towards him there. Magisk is, well, the furthest forward player for SK, and he's really just ideating the possibility of working through A main. And not committing to much at all. He will go to long A. This is him here, so... It is the Scream sitting back. That is just disgusting, Scream. Can you not... <laughs> Two players left for SK, Sanon and Cadian, and I'll tell you what, it's dire straits for them right now. Cadian will get one, at least a consolation as it were, but the bomb well, hasn't been moved anywhere yet, and Titan can just toy with their food as it were. This? Cadian? Not bad. Oh, Cadian, run. Run the hell away. There was 20 seconds left, and the bomb was nowhere to be found, though they could have made it over to be in time, I guess, but still. RPK ruining the hopes and dreams of SK thus far. The last two rounds have been at his hand going against them. And now SK, the, the money is poor. Uh, you know, it's 2.4, 2.6, 2.5. Not enough to get a buy going. Maybe a Deagle here and there, a P250 or two. And let's see where they can put it to good use. Because on the Titan side, they are looking flush for cash. They are sitting pretty. All set nades and smokes going to be going down towards mid. And shocks smoking out very close, actually. That's just going to bounce on top. So it does give them a little bit of an angle to peek through. But while this happens, they pull out towards A. But Magisk again finds that Deagle to work, but Smith stops the rot this time. Okay, crazy the way he traded into that one there. But here's Scream pushing around. Cadian's already managed to deal with Smith, but Existence is there to pick up. It's trading one for one here so far for Titan. And well, considering they're up against Eco, that's a very interesting scenario here. As Asilian has nothing but a Deagle to work with, but we've seen what Magisk himself can do with it. But the bomb is down. There is a player flanking. That is Sandin. He will go towards a man, and he does see shocks. Can he get the finish? Oh, <laughs> he does. The shocks is not able to complete, oh but God. it's just freeze. It's been back and forth. It's been a messy round. It's been a grind, and freeze with no armor, no grenades. is going to drop to scream. Titan, just just look how sloppy this is though from Titan. This is not clean rounds. This is not pretty stuff. They're on 14 to 13. I, I wouldn't put this past SK to bring it back to 14 to 14 if I'm honest. Let's see what they can do now. They're going back on the buy, 4.9k. They can go for a decent purchase here. Maybe not head armor, but they can get the utility to support it. That's exactly what they're doing. Smith's the perfect spawn for the orb, but they can still maybe work towards A a little later. And those beautiful fades. Really put to use over towards A. Two players make it three, actually, towards mid. Asilian supporting through those vents, and Magisk pushing right up there, trying to get some early control. And they sent Titan packing. SK just pushing back a little bit more this round as they set up towards mid. Normally Titan straight over the boost and with smoke towards vents here, but Magisk and Acilian, I think it is. Yes, have set up here. 
as maybe a little bit of a later push out for Titan will be the order of the day. There is some smoke coming over existence. You can see him quite close there. We're looking to try and battle it out with Acillian. So Magis there will just wait his time as four players from Titan still sitting in mid. Oh dear, he takes a fight here hoping that existence would burn down and he did, but here's Magis now going against RPK and he loses that particular battle. That's losing mid presence here, but Cadian's able to make up for it there. Gets on towards RPK, 3v3. Bomb is still left in mid, Titan still yet to commit to anything. And I mean, we haven't seen him play much case at all in recent times and maybe we're starting to figure out why. A little baffled by Titan, if I'm honest. They're down to two now. And SK doing really well to keep this one going in their favour. At least this round in their favour. But the bomb is heading towards B. That's Sandon's domain. 24 seconds left. Smoke does get put down. You can see Sandon not in a particular hurry here. Just going to wait to see if there's a push. He can hear the cross coming through. Bomb will be planted. Sandon try and do the kind of close spot to the corner. No one's there. Bash comes in, but there's three players by CT. I'm assuming one will split towards upper, but that bomb is going to be ticking, and Dusty was though the retake is coming in now. Santa flooding out there as well. Go straight towards Smith's here, and Cadian does get a lovely pick. Onto screen there, and SK Gaming, we keep it neck and neck. It's 14 piece, and no one really would have expected this, and Titan... Not showing the dominance we'd expect them to see, especially if you're looking at the ladder, especially if you you know, glance over some of their past results, especially if you hold SK uh, you know, under the same microscope. But now 14-14, we may, we may have an overtime here. It has been tit for tat after Titan getting three in a row. SK have slowed them up. All right, now I'm going to start believing. Now I'm going to start believing that maybe SK can do this because look at that bike come out from Titan. It is poor. They've got th what, two. Okay, they did have the drop out there, so they're going to switch that AK across to RPK. But that's still three rifles, two pistols. It's not perfect, but Shock's looking to make the most of it. I'm surprised they give Shock's this Tech 9 when really he's been so prolific with the rifle. But hey, who am I to judge? So far, he's not looking to do too much with that Tech 9 as Titan again play it awfully slow. They're just not wanting to be aggressive at the moment here. Mid has been given up, so SK, instead of flooding down using Aestelian and Magisk, they're giving it up completely, playing a bit more passively here. They realize the importance of this round, and they are playing against a force here, so they just don't want to take any untoward risks. It's going to be shocks to smoke himself through Flash Out. He wants to go towards Forklift there as well, but he backs up immediately there as the Molotov did go down under towards his feet. Titan haven't really carved out any sort of big advantages here. Shox is looking for one towards Katie in there. He will be out again, but Magisk on towards Smith. That's, That's a one two. for one. The man is doing some serious work. Scream will finally be able to shut him down. And there goes Freeze. RPK takes him out and he will be the plant. Finally it goes in, but Asilian and Sandon, they're not in the worst of predicaments. They can easily save these weapons, but Sandon is going looking. It's kind of dangerous when Scream's still standing, let alone Shox. And they are going to be going for the save here. And it will be Titan getting onto match point, but... I don't, I don't know how to feel about this one. Titan look a little lost here. And, well, when Magisk is finding this sort of form, it's it's kind of hard to deal with. Even when, you know, Titan do have the favourable odds in these sort of rounds, it still gets very, very close. The bomb will be going off pretty darn soon. They should be able to keep hold of these rifles. I don't think anyone's going to be challenging out too soon. And the bomb will explode. So... Terrorists win. All in all, yeah, all in all, Titan... Starting to draw this back. SK, though, it'd be devastating to lose out at this point, remember. They have fought so bravely to bring it to the scoreline, and they have, I, I've got to say, they looked more deserving than Titan at times. If you look at them on paper, considering SK are last in this entire league, you'd hope they could pull something off there, but the economy is weak, it's poor. They only have a CZ on Cadian, and look at Titan. Just flush for cash, they have everything they want. In theory, this should be Titan's round, but let's find out how this one goes. SK, can they take it to overtime? Can they finally get their first win here? No helmets for a freezing caddy in as well. That aim punch is going to suck if they do find themselves on the wrong end of some of those shots towards their cranians. But it is shocks moving up again, and this is Titan going with a similar setup that we're using before. But this time, SK is getting aggressive coming forward. Caddy trying to take control of mid. He takes a bit of damage there as well. Of course. He hasn't really pushed any further on towards this one. Freeze and Magisk at A, a Cillian Sandon at B. And it's just Cadian here as well, trying to get up close, trying to use that CZ to the greatest effect. And Titan not taking any risks here. No, they don't have to. There's Smith's opening the door. Freeze. Will that draw his attention away here? Let's get a little bit of freezing on our HLTV here. 
We are back, of course, after a couple of kills get traded. Brilliant. Cadian actually did manage to get the jump on existence, but was quickly put down. Yeah, it's it's already looking like time to start and take the lead here. It's Smith's lead boy, Magis goes down, who was the remaining hope, but look at it. Cillian and Sand in the last two standing. It's not gone too well for these boys here. And the last hurdle, once again, just kind of clipping their heels on it. And the shins feeling rather bruised. They do fall. Titan eventually claim it in a very close game. And I've got a feel for SK here. That must be heartbreaking. Absolutely as well. To take this game so close, and you can say what you like about Titan uh, in terms of is this how we expect them to perform to? They look a little bit rusty. Yeah. Shox was doing some serious work here. Yeah, he was. I've got to give credit to Magisk as well. Coming to this SK lineup, so close. But yeah, no cigar. Yeah, there was a couple of rounds that he definitely turned the tide for SK there. So all in all, he looks like a good player individually. There's no disputing that. But SK once again just falling at that final hurdle, which is a shame considering yet to get a win on the board. But my God, they did get close then. And Titan just depending on shocks quite severely as well. But regardless, today has been outstanding. Unless maybe you're a Nip fan. I don't know. The, the, the start to today was a little bit, uh, a little bit shoddy. And on paper, it shouldn't have gone this way in theory. 6-16 Six to 16 to begin with on Inferno. The better map for them going into their harder map. They actually picked up 11. Yeah, big expectations for NIP actually heading into that one against Na'Vi. Their Inferno in recent times was actually pretty darn good. However, Na'Vi managed to shut them down on that one, of course. Overpass, yet again, similar situations there as well. It's the Na'Vi, it was Na'Vi's T side in both of those games that was indomitable. Too much for NRP to handle. Yeah, and of course, the game of the day. Fnatic against TSM. It was 22 to 20. Finally, Fnatic, you know, made the odds happen. But it was a huge game. It was it was something that you've got to watch back. Bear in mind, Crims got 42 kills in that device, 48. Both teams fought tooth and nail for that result. And it was just Fnatic in the end to find it. But then to close us out, a closer game than I expected. Yeah, that's right. I mean, SK looking a bit more fair dinkum than we maybe thought they were, as yep. it were, considering the way the season's gone. Unfortunately, a loss is a loss, and it doesn't make your record look any prettier, especially when you're already like minus 50-odd yeah. in rounds. So not great for them. A bit of a metaphor, I think, for their season so far. It's not the first time that they have come close on some occasions to getting a win, and Titan will be cheekily, and maybe sheepishly, going back and forward into all the next games and be going, OK, that was a little bit close. Let's uh, regather ourselves and go for our next few matches. Well, if you are an SK fan, your heart may be in tatters. You could be cheered up, at least on Saturday, we'll be having a lot more games coming up for the EU side. There's going to be a task and a half for them. You can see it there. Quite the numbers coming up for them and a tough opponent and make it, you know, tough opponents throughout. Hellraisers may be a chance. They are next to each other on the ladder board, but outside of that, Na'Vi and Virtus Pro. That's a tough one. But this is going to be a bit of a super, super day, I guess, or super weekend. There's a lot of games coming in here. Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it's, I'm looking forward to Virtus Pro TSM. That's oh, going to yeah. be sick. TSM Envious as well. So Saturday, uh, got a really good combination of games as well. We're seeing some of these teams that are close on the ladder, like your, your Hellraisers and SK. Yeah. They're going to be battling it out. They're going to be slugging away at it. And of course, there are some more Virtus Pro in the mix. TSM NV, I mean, it's going to be a great day as well. Looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, and that's not all. The NA side of things will be coming up later, of course, and that'll be over on the SCA side of things. So if you want to check it out, you know, check in with who's playing well on the other side of the pond, do make sure you catch that. I think that's in around 2 our time, so 2 CST, maybe around 3. It's quite a late one, but it's going to be Luminosity Gaming playing. So if you're a fan of those boys, do check it out. And anyway, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you today's games. I know it's been good fun casting with you for the uh, first time properly in a big game like this, let's say, because this was a... Uh, real moment to be remembered so guys do make sure you give him some support as well he is fairly new to this one our dearest <laughs> uber you. yeah we, we've we've pulled him back from the colonies to give him a chance in the real world but no do make sure you give him some support it has been a pleasure bringing you the games today if you fancy any more csgo do make sure you watch the esea side of things the na side a little later on this evening and even beyond that get ready for saturday because there's a hell of a lot of games coming here in the esl esea pro league guys catch you then